Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thanks for joining me I'm Katie and today we're gonna have a look at Supervision watercolours now I've seen these on Aliexpress about a gazillion times and you see these wild swatches of colours and I'll pop a picture on screen and I really wanted to give them a try and see what all the hype was about I managed to find them in pans rather than in tubes or in containers that they'd been squeezed out into and I thought well these will make a nice addition to my custom collection that I'm gradually building in a little turn. The three colours I decided to choose were the Royal Purple, the Sky Ink and the Cathedral Green because from the on-screen swatches that I'd looked through on Aliexpress they just seemed the most interesting and the sky ink just seemed a little bit comparable to some of the granulating colours from Daniel Smith as did the cathedral green and well the royal purple I mean look at it that's just delicious right but on a side note don't eat your paint I don't think it would taste very nice and I don't think it would do you any good either so applying them neatly to some watercolour paper and then adding the water to it and let it trickle I really liked how these moved and how the colours split and the granulation granulated I didn't go too extensively into experimenting I just wanted to go in there Now for the first picture I think the colour combination that I chose couldn't have been worse but I still just wanted to go for it and see what I could create with it. I quite liked the initial lay down to begin with and I used that sky ink colour. It reminded me a little bit of a Payne's grey but a, a bit more of a granulating one and it was really nice to just subtly add these layers to it. However, considering I was painting a face, oh, it was a bit hard to achieve any skin tones with this as I hadn't really picked up any warm colours. But there's, there's ways around it to a certain extent and I'll go into that as the painting progresses. The packaging that these came in didn't really give me any pigment information or light fast information. But, well, if it did, it was in Chinese and it wasn't really registering on my phone because the text was really small on it, so uh, these are just for fun anyway. And I'm sure if any of you guys are on AliExpress and you've seen these, you've probably been a little bit curious about them too, especially that purple colour. I'd probably say the purple and the green are the most noticeable ones for the split in colours and you can really see those magenta tones as well as those, I want to say ultramarine but I know it's not but it's it's that kind of bluey purpley tinge to it and I really like that. I think for this painting I probably wasn't using them right but I'd like to try and see what I can do with them and this just seemed like a good first painting I promise you the next painting I do on this video is a little bit better and uses the paint a little bit more loosely and appropriately and although this is quite a tight painting which is the best way I can describe how I'm working here I do like how well these layered up they layered up brilliantly and you really can tell a difference between each layer I add and I've said layer quite a lot there. I'm probably going to say it some more. Also, I found mixing that sky ink in with the royal purple worked really well. And I was a little bit apprehensive about mixing those two colours together. I'm not really sure why, but I like the effect. They complemented each other really well. To get additional colours and tones, I waited for the heavier particles in the royal purple to sink to the bottom and the dye base part of it to obviously remain in the liquid form to add a tint to her lips and other facial features and this is as good as a skin tone as I could get with the cathedral green and I really want to keep saying cascade green but with the cathedral green that was obviously made from a blue and a yellow base but it was quite a stained yellow base it was virgin more on the green side I still managed to extract that and add that to the purple 
red tones from the royal purple are you still with me on this to just try and create as close as i could to a skin tone and i think it just about worked but obviously that's not what these paints are really for but i just wanted to see what i could do with them I was quite happy with how the colours travelled on the page and as well for doing those finer details with the rigger brush there. I tend to find sometimes if a paint does something specifically like granulating it can be a little harder to get those details with the rigger brush and that's down to how the paint will flow down the bristles of the brush. But on this occasion it was quite a concentrated mix that I'd used but it worked out really quite nicely i didn't have any mishaps with it and yeah i was quite pleased with it i must admit i do feel like i've purchased more muted colors here with the exception of that purple and the drawing especially what i had in mind was going to be a little bit more jovial than how it looks and she does look quite miserable there but never mind it's just sometimes how it turns out and it's quite important to consider really what colors you use and the overall tone that it gives off I must admit though, I was quite glad to be able to extract some warmer tones from that purple just to give her a bit of colour in her cheeks. And using the white gel pen just to add a few of those highlights in there because I didn't really want to use masking fluid on this particular piece. Am I happy with the overall picture? Oh, it's not one of my best, but I was so excited to play with these, I just dived straight in. And well, I, I, I was getting the hang of it by then. I realised I needed to use this in a more looser way, which is why I painted this as well. I decided to add a very subtle wet and wet wash in the background of this one so when I pulled the masking tape back it did actually look like I'd painted the whole page and again I continued to use wet and wet to really get those colours moving. The paper I've used as well is just some cheap watercolour paper from my local hobby craft which isn't actually that local it was just in the area and I thought I'd just grab some while I was there and it, it's nothing amazing it's paper pulp it's 300 gsm but i thought it's ideal just for tinkering with these and as you can see this looser style seems to bring out all of those gorgeous particles and dyes that make up these watercolors i decided to just mask off three leaves of the branch where the crow is sitting and I'm glad I did that because there was no way I could have painted over it with that green. I absolutely love how rich the sky ink is and you can achieve a really nice deep black if you use it in a concentrated manner but if you want all of those lovely colours to come through then go for it and dilute it. I absolutely love these colours that have come from it. I think for this particular painting as well it really suits it too. I also like how and, and I find this with a lot of new art materials or when I'm trying something I like to see what the material encourage, encourages me to do. Do you find that when you're trying a new supply even if it's a medium that you're used to when you try a new supply do you find that sometimes it encourages you to try a different style and a different application i'd love to hear what you think in the comments so please drop it down below i can't be the only one who feels like that as you can see when i peel away the random array of washi tape i've put on there just adding that very subtle background really just gives a nice form to the picture Anyway, that is a quick look at the superior watercolours which are absolutely everywhere on AliExpress at the moment. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope you found it useful as well. If you have, give us a thumbs up and drop in the comments as well what your thoughts are on it. And there should be a couple of videos on screen where I'm taking a look at other art supplies. A huge thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.